Good evening. Let's see. Good evening. Hello, Katia. Good evening. How are you? I cannot listen to you. Please activate your, your microphone. Now? Hello. Oh, now I can talk. Can you hear me? Now, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Katya. Hello, how are you? I thank you, teacher. How about you? I'm just great, just great here. Oops, that's why. Give me a second. <laughs> the wrong side was plugged in. Okay, now it changed. So, hello, Katia. Tell me, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Where do you live? Mm -hmm. My name is Katia Monterrosa. I live in Santa Ana in Colonia Ivy. Oh, really? I, That's cool. Um, I am a teacher. I work in Metapan. Oh, really? You are a teacher? Special education school. What's your specialty again? Yes. What is your specialty? What is your specialty? Uh, uh, special education. Oh, special really? education. Special education. Oh, that's awesome. I work with disability children. That's great. That's awesome. I mean, it's it's something I do admire because it's difficult, very difficult. Yes. Well, I have to be too patient. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be pretty patient for that situation. I understand that. Patient. Okay, just let me text something yes. to the group. Thank you, Katia. Just Thank let you. me send a message to the group so everybody can connect. Okay, okay. And let's see. Okay, well, let's continue. Sylvia, hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine, teacher. And you, how are you? I'm just great, just great. Thank you. And tell me, where do you live, Silvia? I live in Santa Ana, teacher. Oh, really? Also. And what do you do? I live in. Uh, I work. I am secretary. You're a secretary. Okay, that's great. Yes, I work. Yes, I work in the hospital. In the hospital. In the hospital, father. Oh, really? Wow. That's awesome. Yes. So, you are very busy all the time. Muy ocupada. Yes. Okay, well, thank you, Sylvia. Nice uh, having you yes. here. Yes, tell me, tell me. Okay, okay. Tell me. Uh, yes, uh, this day uh, was a very hard day for me oh really but it's all okay yes. okay that's good it's good to have you here thank you very much let's thank see thank you teacher umberto hello how are you mister uh, how are you teacher i'm just great just great tell me a little bit about yourself umberto okay um 
I live in two in Santa Ana. Okay. Uh, I work in, in I work at in Valley Manufacturing. Okay. Uh, my ¿Cómo sería la profesión? My, prof, my, profession. my profession is yeah, is quality quality my quality manager. Oh, quality manager. That's nice. Excellent. Well, thank you. Good to have you here in class, Humberto. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's see who else is thank around. Thank you, Tish. Emily. Hello, Emily. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm just great. Just great. Tell me a little bit about yourself, please. I live in a water plant. And okay. uh, I am 21 years old, okay. and I am an uh, economist student at the university. Oh, really? You're studying at the university? That's cool. I envy you, Cambodian. I love studying. It's nice well, to I have you here. You don't like it? Because it's, it's so hard. Oh, come on. The university is fun. Uh, online, not. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Online is a yeah. different story, a whole different story. Well, it's good to have you here in class. Thank you very much, Emily. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Basilia, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. How are you, Miss? Tell me about yourself, please. Um, I am... What do you say, ama de casa? <laughs> Housewife. Housewife. Um, I have a son. Okay. He yes. has a six, he is? one. He has uh, one six years. He is six years old. He is, he is six years old. Um, only that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I wrote it for you in the chat. Six years mm -hmm. old, housewife. Okay. The first expression that I wrote, I also live in Santana, was for Humberto, okay? You say, I also live in Santana, that's the order. Okay, thank you very much, Basilia. Let's okay. see, Reynaldo, hello, how are you, mister? Hello, how are you? I'm just fine, just great. Happy to be here. What about you? Tell me about yourself, please. Well, uh, my name is Reynaldo Juarez. I am a content. Okay. I'm, uh, I work at uh, Dirección General de Aduanas. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm married. <laughs> okay. I'm married. So you work for customs? Yes, I'm, a, I'm work customs of El Salvador. Okay, I'm, that's nice. I'm technique. Technical Specialista. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. Excellent. Thank you very much. Happy to have you here in class, mister. Thank you. Karen Melendez. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, miss? I'm fine. I'm tired. Tired? A hard day at work? Yes. Okay. Tell me about yourself, please. Uh, I live in Cojutepeque. Oh, really? Yes. That's close the city, to the house. chorizo. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. close to my house. I live in San Martin. Oh, really? Yep, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, a young host, uh, housewife. Okay. I am 12. How do you say 27? 27. 27 years old. Okay. I have one son. I am married. Okay, great. Um, That's it. Up. That's it. No problem, no problem. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Welcome everybody. There's Sylvia, there's Herlin, Elena, Anderson. I will get to know all of you later. I'm sorry, I'm going to switch into Spanish just for a second. Perdón que voy a cambiar a español por unos momentos. 
eh, normalmente les aclaro una explicación. Siempre me voy a estar conectando a las clases unos 5 o 10 minutos antes. Eh, los primeros 5 minutos siempre con los que estemos voy a ir escogiendo, alternándolos, tener pequeñas conversaciones. En algunas ocasiones esas conversaciones van a estar relacionadas con los temas que vamos a tener. Siempre en las clases este, trato de apartar unos minutos para eso. Conversation. ¿Ok? Vamos, puede ser que la conversación la hagamos al inicio porque quiero dar la introducción a un tema o puede ser que con algunos de ustedes converse al final como para hacer un wrap up, un review, ¿ok? Para hacer un, un cierre, un repaso del tema. And also to help you to practice because that's why you are here to speak English, right? Y también para practicar porque para eso están ustedes acá, para aprender inglés. So, eh, as much as possible, The ones who are going to be speaking a lot are you. En la mayoría, de, no sé cómo se dice en español, uh, uh, lo más posible quienes van a hablar en, son ustedes, más que yo, ¿ok? That's the idea. You speak in English, not me. I mean, I know English already. Let me introduce myself. Déjenme presentarme. Uh, hello, everybody. There's Charlie. There's Jennifer, Oscar, Jennifer Jacinto, Elizabeth. Please. Be sure always to write your full name. Siempre recordemos poner nombre y apellido, ¿ok? It's very important. If you can activate your cameras, it would be better. Si podemos activar las cámaras, sería aún mejor. Eh, let me see what else. Let me introduce myself. My name is Douglas Arevalo. Uh, I am an English teacher. I am 41 years old. Tengo 41 años de edad. So I'm old. Uh, I've been teaching English for... 21 years up to now. Tengo 21 años de dar clases de inglés. Uh, I have worked in, well, I work for a public school. I also work for the Universidad Don Bosco. I used to work for uh, Universidad Pedagógica. I also worked at some private schools. Trabajé en algunos colegios privados, like uh, Colegio García Flamenco in San Salvador. And let me see what else. Uh, I also work as a, as a translator. También trabajé como intérprete for, for a year. I was working with an American community. Trabajé con una comunidad este, norteamericana. Um, I don't know. What can I tell you? I have a son. My son is 18 years old. Tengo un hijo de 18 años de edad. And I live in San Martín. And let me see what else. Well, that's it. I'm just happy to be here in class. I love teaching. Me encanta enseñar inglés. And believe it or not, I love teaching adults. Y me encanta trabajar con adultos. More than with kids. Más que con chicos. I mean, I work, I also work with little kids, but I do enjoy working with adults. Trabajo con niños, pero me encanta trabajar con adultos. Because actually that's where I started. I, I mean, I work like six years on a row just with adults. Así es como comencé, trabajé seis años continuos solamente con adultos. And then I started with high school y luego con bachillerato. So for me, working with adults is fun. So let's see, guys. Hello, this is pre-intermediate two. So we are going to have fun. We are going to be working with a lot of information. Let me see some reminders. Quiero ver algunos recordatorios. Please, the platform. You need to be advancing on the platform, okay? You already know how that goes. Ustedes ya saben cómo eso funciona. Eh, I will be checking your advances in the platform. Voy a ir revisando los avances en la plataforma. And I will be letting you know every Mondays, between Mondays and Thursday, entre lunes y jueves, voy a estarle diciendo cómo vamos. Son los, fecha, los días que yo voy a actualizar la tabla con las calificaciones. So please... If you have any questions, si tenemos alguna pregunta, we got the cell phone, so please, 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 any question, let me know, okay? I mean, if I don't answer to you right in the moment, si no le contesto exactamente en el momento, be sure that I will. De por seguro que lo haré. I will answer to you, okay? Uh, I'm here to help you. Estoy acá para ayudarles. Okay, this is your class. So, something else, um, Sometimes I get excited and I start talking and speaking like pretty fast. That's my normal rhythm. A veces me emociono y comienzo a hablar muy rápido. Ese es mi ritmo. So, 
If you feel that it, I am going too fast, se siente que voy muy rápido, stop me, ¿ok? Yes, Elena, in the, in the email they sent to you, en el, en el correo que les enviaron, les aparece el enlace, ¿verdad?, para el grupo de WhatsApp. Revisémoslo, ahí les aparece a todos. Algunos ya se me agregaron, algunos creo que todavía no. Esperemos que todos lo hagamos y si alguien tiene problemas con eso, me lo puede hacer saber. Este, si alguien no identifica mi número... I just send it to you in the chat. Se los acabo de enviar en el chat. Ok. So, remember, if I don't answer right away, it's because I'm teaching, but I will, as soon as I finish teaching, I will answer to you. Si no les contesto inmediatamente es porque estoy dando una clase, pero tan pronto me ocupe yo les correspondo. Ok. Is there any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Feel free to ask. Con toda libertad, por favor. No, no jet. Okay. Look. Yes, yes, yes. Mario, were you going to ask me something? No, 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 no. Okay. Any question? Perfect. Excellent. Okay, guys. Let's see. Today we are going to be working with uh, adverbs, adverbs of frequency. Okay. What are adverbs of frequency? Those are small words. Those words help us to explain how frequently or how regularly we do something. Like uh, um, I shave twice a week, okay? I shave twice a week. Yo me rasuro twice a week, dos veces a la semana. Listen to this. I sometimes shave on Saturdays. Listen, I Sometimes shave on Saturdays. Sometimes is the adverb of frequency. It expressed that. Now, with the adverbs of frequency, there's just a little detail. Con los adverbios de frecuencia hay un pequeño detalle. I'm sorry that I'm... Uh, that I'm... Uh, I'm going to use Spanish just for a little bit. Voy a usar español solo por un momentito. Okay. And uh, I'm sorry, let me tell you that uh, I, I always read books. I always read a book. I got uh, like a hundred books right here. Oh, como 100 libros ahí. I got, uh, right now I'm reading one book in this cell phone and I am reading another book in my other cell phone. So in this moment, I am reading three different books. En este momento estoy leyendo tres libros. So I always read. For some of you, you say, oh, always, it's okay. But for some of you, it's like, um, that's not that much. It's like uh, if I say, oh, I always shower in the morning and at night. I always shower in the morning and at night, yo siempre, okay? But before we get into that, we are also be gonna be working with the platform. También vamos a trabajar con la plataforma, okay? There are some videos in the platform for you to, for us to check. And let me start with that. Just let me check that I have it ready for you. Perfect. Okay, okay, I have it here and it's ready. I'm sorry guys, just a second. Okay, here I am. Let me share with you right now. Okay, in the plat in the platform, in the Inglés Corporativo platform, in your course, in nuestro curso that is uh, 
pre-intermediate module two, we got here 1.1, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Now, let me just do a little something here. I'm going to stop this so you can get it better. And I am going to share also this little image for you in the group. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And please listen and read. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question how often and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? Well, about five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can... Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we got it. I hardly ever exercise. Now, just let me a little bit uh, bigger so everybody can see it. And let's see. I send it to the group. Let's see, Elizabeth de Amaya, hello. Hi, teacher. Okay, and Emily Gonzalez, hello. Hello. Uh, let's see, Emily, where did Elizabeth go? She disconnected? Yes, teacher. Okay, Elizabeth and Emily, please do me a favor. Can you do the conversation for us? Uh, teacher, yo no sé si yo soy la de problema en la compu, pero no veo bien la conversation. Okay, that, that happens sometimes. sometimes. Eso a veces nos pasa. That's why I send it to the group, in to the WhatsApp group. Se los envía al grupo de WhatsApp. Can you check it out? Ah, ok, permiso. Ahí está. So, por Elizabeth. Just give me a second. Let's see if Elizabeth can find it. Can you get it, Elizabeth? What moment, teacher? No problem, no problem. Okay, well, you get it. I will make the pronunciation for you guys. It says, you are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early. And I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in lines, in line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess, I guess I'm a real coach potato. Yes, teacher, ya lo tengo. Okay, perfect. So, you will start, Elizabeth. Mary o Paul. You are Mary. Quiere que digamos la conversation, Mary. Yes. You, you really fit, Paul. 
do you do you exercise a lot? I, well, I almost always get up early and I wait. Serious? Serious? Sure. And I. Niño. <laughs> Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually use watch TV in my free time. I go to a real coach. Potato. Okay, let's see. Let's check something. What is a coach potato? Do you know what is a coach potato, guys? Coach potato defines. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Coach potato. Coach potato defines somebody. That's a person who is all the time, like uh, resting watching TV and eating snacks. That type of person is a coach potato. A esa persona llamamos coach potato. Watching TV on the sofa and just with the remote control and eating snacks. That type of person is a coach potato. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Mario Santiago, you got the conversation? Tiene la conversación? Yes. And let's see. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Got it. You got it? Karen Melendez. Yes, teacher. Okay. So, Mario, please, you start. Uh, I can see the uh, conversation. I can see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me share. Uh, Just give me a second. Okay. Couldn't you get it on the on the group? No, la vi on the uh, group. No. Uh, in this moment, send you message. Uh, for uh, okay, no, let me I do it see. like this. Okay. Let's see where is it? Where is it? Right here. There you go. Okay. Um I am Mary and Paul. You're Paul. Okay. Carla is Mary. Okay. 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 You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I live wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I get I am really cush potato. Okay. Let me repeat one more time for all of you. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess, I guess I'm a real coach potato. Now, let's see, guys. Let me show you something else. 
Let me show you something else. I prepare a small presentation for you. And it's right here. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see. Adverts of frequency. I read a book every day. Look, every day that happens, the day number one, two, three, four, all the days of the month. That means that I always read a book all the time. I play the saxophone five times a week. Look, five times a week. That means that I usually play the saxophone. Now look at this. I ride my bike twice a week. Twice, two times, okay? Twice, those veces. Twice a week. That means I often, often ride my bike. I play basketball once a week. Look. I play basketball once a week. I sometimes play basketball. Look, once a week, sometimes. I go to the cinema once a month. I go to the cinema once a month. Una vez, once. I rarely go to the cinema rarely i don't drink alcohol i never drink alcohol so let's remember always a hundred percent all the time usually mm, a little bit less Often, a little bit less. Sometimes, even less. Rarely, and never. Okay? Remember, always, usually, sometimes, rarely, and never. Okay? Let me share this other image with you. Let's continue. Remember also that once means one time, twice, two times. Then we got three times, four times, five times. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me get everybody here. Okay, I ride my bike twice a week. Which would be appropriate for this? Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. Help me out, guys. Are you doing me? Sometimes. 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 Usually. Let's see, sometimes. Uh, rarely. Usually. No. Rarely. Well, rarely. not sometimes. Let's see, rarely. No. Mm. No. Sometimes. Mm. Correct. Often. 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 I walk my dog every day. Help me out, guys. Always. 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 Everybody agrees. Always. Always. Correct. Always. Perfect. Excellent. Let's continue. I play the saxophone five times a week. Usually. 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 Correct. Usually. Perfect. Usually. Usually. I go to the cinema once a month. Rarely. 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 I don't drink alcohol. Never. 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 Correct. Perfect. I play basketball once a week. Sometimes. 
Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Correct. Rarely. Perfect. Sometimes. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. It was excellent. You did very good. You remember the adverbs. Now, let's see. We also have another video for today that we are going to watch. Okay. Let me share another short video from the platform, from the Inglés Corporativo platform. Le voy a compartir otro video de la plataforma de Inglés Corporativo. Remember, those videos, you can check it again and again if you want. Esos videos ustedes los pueden revisar las veces que quiera, okay? Because you got the access to the platform. Let me share it with you. Okay, here we go. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Okay, look, here we got the same idea. That how many times and the way we place the adverbs, okay? It's every day. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverse of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real. Okay, remember, remember, this is very important. The position in a sentence, subject, the adverb of frequency plus the verb plus the complement. That means that the adverb comes, you see, here between the subject and the verb sentences he never plays never baseball plays. we always go for a run you hardly ever swim notice the position of the adverbs never always hardly ever but let's talk about sometimes sometimes it's a special case it can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay, guys, let's see. Questions about the adverbs? Preguntas con los adverbios? No? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Remember, the adverbs of frequency are very important because they tell us exactly that, the frequency. Okay? Okay, just let me see that. Uh, okay. Okay, so they tell us the frequency, how regularly we do something. Now, let's listen a little bit. Let's talk among ourselves a little bit. I got some questions for you. Okay, les tengo unas preguntas. Do 
The first question is, how often do you exercise? Sorry. And the second question, look in the chat, in the Zoom chat. Demos el chat de Zoom. And you got the other question, how often do you play any sport? Okay. Now, those two questions we are going to be asking each other. Okay. Esas preguntas nos las vamos a hacer uno al otro. But how are we going to answer them? ¿Cómo las vamos a contestar? Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Humberto, please do me a favor. Can you ask me the first question, please? Activate your microphone, please. I cannot hear you. Excuse me, teacher. Hey. In the oh. second question, you have to write how often do you play any sport or only to play any sport? Give me a second, miss. What did I text? How often do you play any sport? Yes. How often do you play any sport? You play sports that are played with a ball. Cuando usamos el play relacionado con deportes. Sí. Es... Yo le preguntaba que si tiene que poner do you play o así como está ahí, do play any sport. Let me see. Oh, my bad. Do you. I'm sorry. My bad. Mi error. Do you. Sorry, guys. Thank you very much, Katia. Please, Humberto, ask me the first question. How often do you exercise? Oh, I always exercise from 5 to 6 p.m. You see, I answer him using an adverb of frequency. And that's what you are going to do. But how are we going to do it? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? I'll give, I'll give you five minutes. I will divide you in small groups. Lo voy a dividir en pequeños grupos. You will have five minutes. And you will be asking and answering the questions to your classmates. Now, take note of the name of your classmate and the frequency. Tome nota del nombre de su compañero y qué tan a menudo lo hace. Because I am going to ask you, but not about yourself, about your classmate. Yo le voy a preguntar, pero no de usted, sino de su compañero. Okay. Questions about the activity? Preguntas con actividad? Yes, tell me. Easy. Hardly ever. Yes. Hardly ever. Only hardly ever. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Or never. Nunca. No lleva. Never. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Never. Nunca. Entonces ahí no tiene que decir uno nada más de... Ah, 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 ah. I hardly ever practice sports. I hardly ever exercise. Ok. 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 Ok, guys. I'm going to be jumping from group to group. Voy a ir viéndolos de grupo en grupo, ok? Let's jump in, please. You got an invitation for the for the groups. Ya tienen la invitación ahí, creo. Okay, let's go check the groups. 
hardly ever exercise. Uh, how often play any sport, Kathy? I never play any sport. I never. Listen to you. Sylvia. Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. Who can you not listen to? I can no puedo escuchar. Hello. Silvia. Eh, Adonai. Adonai. Hello. 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 Okay, Adonai is here. You can practice with Adonai. Hello. Okay. Hello, Adonai. Uh, how often do you exercise? How often do you play play sports? Very often play any sport. Sería así mismo. Deporte. Mm. No, ahí sería. Permíteme. The difference, Jenny, is that when you do a, when you exercise, is because you do a routine. When you exercise, porque hace una rutina. But when you play a sport, it can be for fun. Si usted practica un deporte, puede ser simplemente por diversión. Entonces, ahí la respuesta sería solo I very often. O, o... I very often what? Play a sport Run. or I very often exercise. I very often exercise. Ajá, eso sí. Pero la segunda, I very often play sports. Play sport. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I very often. It's a sport because I practice kickboxing every day. You practice kickboxing? Yes. That's cool. My son okay. practices that too. Mi hijo también practica eso. Nah, he loves that. Any question, guys? ¿Alguna pregunta? Eh, teacher, sería... I don't... I never... I never uh, play sports. Sport. I never play sports. Any sport. Yes, you can say that. I never play any sport. Okay. Hello, Reynaldo. Hello. We are going to the main room already. Vamos para el salón principal, okay? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Let's just wait for your classmates. They are coming soon. Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros. Vienen en un instante. They start coming. Let's see. Jose, Jose Lino. Hello, mister. How are you? Activate your microphone, Jose. I cannot hear you. Uh, <clears throat> hello, teacher. Hello, I'm Jose. Fine. Thanks. Tell me, how often do you exercise? I always do exercise at night. Okay. Oh, really? That's excellent. And do you play any sport? Yes, I like play soccer. Oh, really? You like playing soccer? You yes, I love it. Okay, excellent. And tell me, please, how often do you play soccer? Uh, 
Mm, I, I play soccer once a week. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see. I got um, Reynaldo. Hello, Reynaldo. Activate your microphone, please, mister. I cannot yeah. hear you. Yes. Please. Okay. Hello. Hello, Reynaldo. Please tell me, how often do you practice any sport? Um, I practice four times, four times a week. Four times a week. Oh. More if or less. You, if you were to express it using an adverb of frequency. Oh. So, so we can say if you were to express it and with an adverb of frequency because you are telling uh, it four times a week, we can say almost always, right? Or almost, almost a week. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. Let's see, Katia. Hello, Katia. Hello, Tell me, Katia, how often do you exercise? I never exercise. Oh, and what about uh, play any sport? Do you play any sport? I never play any sport. Come I on. don't like sports. That sports are fun. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Katia. Let's see, Vilma. Hello, Vilma. Miss Leiba. Hello, hello. I think I, she cannot connect because I cannot hear you, Vilma. Let's see. We're going to go to somebody else. Let's see, Elena. Hello, Elena. Elena Menjiva. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Elena, do you like sports? Mm, yes, I like the basketball. Basketball? Yes. Oh, that's your favorite sport. Tell me, how regularly do you play basketball? Mm, I hardly ever play basketball because I, I don't free time for I don't, my work. I don't have free time. I don't have free time for because, my work. Because, because, because of my job. Because of my job. Check it in the chat. Because of my job. Because of my job. And that happens, that happens. Let's see, let's see. Man, I just have a few guys. Oscar Aguilar, hello, Oscar. Thank you, Elena. Oscar. Hello, teacher. Hello, Oscar. Tell me, do you like sports? Yes, I like. Okay, which is your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is soccer. Okay, tell me, how often do you practice soccer? Uh, I once a week. Once a week. Oh, that would be Saturdays or Sundays? Sunday. Sunday in the so, morning. Do you always play soccer on Mondays? On Sundays? Sorry, teacher. Do you do you always play soccer on Sundays? No. I don't play soccer on Sunday. Okay. In only the only in morning. Only in the morning. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mr. Carlos Lopez, hello. Hello. How are you, mister? I am fine, thanks. Tell me, Carlos, do you like sports? Yes, yes, I am. What's your favorite sport? The soccer. Oh, okay, you also play soccer. And tell me, when do you play soccer? And I try to practice, practice it in 
in Sunday. On Sundays, on Sunday. Okay. Okay, now tell me. Do you play soccer on Saturdays? No. No, I don't. Okay, and you can tell me, you see an Albert? No, I never practice soccer on Saturdays. You see? Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. Excellent. Let's see. Who else is around? Karen. Karen. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Karen, do you like sports? Uh, I don't like sports. Oh, come on. The same as Katia. Okay, you must be Katia's friend. Usted ser amiga de Katia. She doesn't like sports. <laughs> but so, I love exercise. Oh, really? How regularly yeah. do you exercise? I, I do weight you for lift? time. You lift weights? Levanta peso? Yes. Okay. I, you can say I do weights or the most proper is I lift weights. Okay. I lift weights four times a week. Oh, and really? yes, and I run every day. Oh, okay. So you also like cardio? I yes. I say that. That's terrible. I, <laughs> I like lifting weights, but uh, doing cardio is not for me. Uh, for me, but uh, for salud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are young. Thank you very much, Karen. Adonai. Hello, Adonai. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Adonai, do you practice any sport? Uh, uh, um, I never exercise. You never exercise? Yes. Okay, so you do not practice sports? I do not. Okay, well, sorry to hear that, mister. You can, as you told me, I never exercise. Thank you very much. Herlin, okay. Herlin Lainez. Hey, good night. Hello, Herlin. Hello. Tell me, good evening, good evening. Good night is when we say bye. Acuérdense, good night. Okay, okay. Good evening okay. is to good. say hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Tell me, Herlin, do you like sports? No, I really I don't like any sport, but I do yoga. You do yoga? Wow, that's yes, awesome. I like. So you twist a lot? Yes. <laughs> That's nice. That helps to flexibility. Yes, stretching. Tell me, how regularly do you do yoga? I consider do one hour every day. I always, I oh. always practice yoga. Really? I all yes. And tell me, do you always practice in the morning or at night? No, at night. At night. So you yes. can tell me. I always do yoga at night. I always do you yoga at night. Perfect. Thank you, Harley. Okay. Thanks. Nice. Let's see. Let's see. Mario. Hello, Mario. Hello, teacher. Tell me, what's your favorite sport, Mario? And my favorite my favorite sport is the football, and my favorite practice sport is baseball. Oh, really? Cool. Okay. But you mean football or soccer? Uh, football, soccer. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. This is kind of weird. Remember that in the United States, if you say football, you are talking about the one they play. In Estados Unidos, if they say football, se refiere al que, al que ellos juegan. In England, in Inglaterra, if you say football, you are talking about soccer. Si te dice fútbol en Inglaterra, es el que todos los demás llamamos fútbol. Okay? So, and you play baseball. Yeah. Okay, what's your yeah, position? I, my position, uh, um, start uh, pitching. Okay. And finally, uh, in my practice baseball, uh, uh, the, uh, I practice in the 
I'm playing in the outfield. And in the outfield. In the outfield. Okay. But uh, my my strong uh, my 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 strong uh, how do I position. Uh, no, no. Uh, for pitching is very this. Oh, okay, I understand, I understand. Wow, but if you are an, in the outfield, you must have a very strong arm. Hay que tener un brazo fuerte. It's correct, it's correct, okay. it's correct. You have to throw far. That's the game of expectancy. Es el juego de la expectativa. <laughs> Interesting, thank you, appreciate it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who is missing. ¿Quién me falta? Marta Luz. Hello, Marta Luz. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Oh, I hear you far away. Le escucho a lo lejos. Hello. Hello, Do you practice any sport, Marta? You don't practice sport. Oh, so remember, if you use an Alberto of frequency, is I never practice sport. Thank you, Marta. Basilia, hello, Basilia. Hello. Tell me, Basilia, do you like sports? Only seeing. Oh, just watch Only it. Watch in TV. Oh, Only okay. watch it. Tell me, what's your yes. favorite sport? Um, I watch um, soccer. You watch soccer, okay. And tell me, do yes. you watch it alone or? I don't understand, teacher. Do you watch it, lo mira, alone or with your family? Sola or with your family? Oh, with my family, with my oh. husband, my son. Oh, that's yes. nice. So, do you always watch it with your husband? Yes, always. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Silvia, do you practice any sport? I like it. Uh, yes, teacher. I swim. I like to swim. Oh. I go to the swim to get away. Also. Oh. Okay. The last part, I couldn't hear it. Última parte no se la escucha. We are having problems with the, with the microphone. Well, thank you very much, Silvia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's see, guys. Hey, believe it or not, our time, we ran out of time. Crean o no, se nos fue el tiempo. But before we finish, let's remember a little bit. Alberts of frequency, they are used to express how regularly we do, we perform something, okay? Adverbios de frecuencia los utilizamos para decir que tan a menudo hacemos algo. The adverbs of frequency, remember, that's a frequency. It's not exact. Como es una frecuencia, no es exacto. It can vary according to your point of view. Puede variar de acuerdo a su punto de vista, okay? So what it's always, for me, it could be almost always for somebody else, or it could be sometimes for the other person. Okay, tomorrow we are going to continue working with this a little bit. Before we leave, is there any question? Okay, let me, just let me no. tell you, thank no. you. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you. Es un placer para mí estar con ustedes. If you have any suggestion about any extra activity you would like to do, si tienen sugerencia, alguna actividad que les gustaría hacer, you can text me, okay? Pueden mandarme un mensaje. Remember, this is your class, and I'm here to try to help you. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Be early. Si pueden conectarse antes, aún mejor. Yo voy a estar conectado cinco o diez minutos antes, okay? So we can practice a little bit more. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you. Have a good night. Thank Have you. a good night. Have a good night.